start. Live. Can't start live video on one of my Facebooks now. Mm. Can you start live? No. Spyware. It says spyware, Steve. It that's says spyware when we try to log in. That's the name of the network. We're trying to log in to, so we can get internet here. Oh, I gotta get going. I gotta keep going. Sorry. Right. Bye. Another cluster. Ray Pass, the doctor boys. What, what are we on? Uh... All right, we're starting live here. What, what are the connections? That one's live. That one's live. Let's go to Instagram now. Hey, boys and girls on Facebook. Let's try Instagram now. 97.3 FM is one. 8.20 AM is the other. And what's the Facebook? Uh, Michael, let's, let's do something different. Let's not answer the first call. Who's that going to be? Live. <coughs> well, so 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 right, we're live on Instagram now. Live on Facebook. Okay, good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host as usual, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins here each every Saturday morning live to answer any and all questions you may have regarding your vision, eye care, and any nutritionally related topics. So pick up the phones, don't be shy, give me a call. Phone line is 727-587-1040. That's 727-587-1040. 40. All right. A little feedback there. All right. <laughs> One more time. 727-587-1040. If you're new to the program, who's Dr. Lang? I'm a board-certified optometric physician. I'm a certified nutritional specialist. I founded Lang Eye Care and Associates March 15th of 1993. We grew to 13 locations in the state of Florida. And then I was lucky enough to have a billion-dollar corporation uh, buy me out. I kept all the, uh, I kept the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, Florida, uh, but sold the other offices. And uh, I put a lot of time and effort into research and development of nutraceuticals in the sports nutrition arena, as well as in the eye arena and the total body health arena. Uh, so if you've got a question, once again, regarding your vision, eye care, any nutritionally related topics, uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. This is a live call-in show. I know we changed the phone number a few times over the last year. Uh, the stadium, station has changed uh, to a few different locations, and we're back in Largo 
at our old stomping grounds. And the phone number now to call live, so if you're watching on social media and you want to call or listening on a variety of FM and AM stations throughout the state, uh, you can call me at 727-587-1040. Uh, we're on 820 AM. We're on 98.3 FM. We're on 97.5 FM. We're on 97.3 FM, the sky up in the Gainesville, Ocala area. And uh, uh, the last few times, we haven't had a live feed to the sky 97.3 FM. So I'm hoping we have a live feed and it's not a tape this time. So... If you're, in, if you're listening, uh, give me a call if you're in the Sky listening audience. And let me know that we're coming in loud and clear. Uh, today is September, I don't know, maybe 21st, 2019. It's about 9.08 in the morning. I got the time right because it's right in front of me. Uh, the phone number is 727-587-1040. One more time, 727-587-1040. Also, I want to invite everybody in our listening audience and everybody uh, that's a patient of mine and everybody in the villages or the outlying area. We have a big party October 26th. That is uh, a Saturday, and it's going to be 10 to 2 at the Langai Institute in the villages. So October 26th, uh, Langai Institute's a Saturday from 10 to 2. We're going to have a car show. Bring your cars or your motorcycles. We'll have a roped-off area. I'm going to bring a couple of my race cars. We're going to have a huge discount sale on all four to five vitamins. We're going to have a sale on glasses and sunglasses. Uh, we're going to have a frame trunk show, a sunglass trunk show. Uh, a lot of fun. And hopefully, good Lord willing, our new Fortify Fit that I've been working on for many years now will be available and for everybody to sample and to purchase. Remember, we're going to have strawberry watermelon and fruit punch. Uh, both of those are going to be available, hopefully, at our fall festival. Every year since I've opened the Lang Eye Institute in 2006, we have had a fall festival. And usually we have three to 5,000 people show up. So it's a pretty big event. And it's free to the public, so come on out. Uh, last week, I talked a little bit about our Omega-3, our new Omega-3. Well, we really have two new Omega-3s. Fortify Super Omega I developed about five, no, about ten years ago. And a lot of you have heard me talk about this for years and years and years. And it has been a huge hit globally. Uh, doctors all over the world are recommending and patients are taking it because it's been beneficial to their overall health. Well, that Fortify Super Omega, I just actually redeveloped it and made it, made it a little bit higher concentration. So it had an 860 EPA. Now we have a 900 EPA. And the DHA was 580, now it's 600. So we went up a little bit. Uh, it's still a Norwegian triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil. The price did not go up at all. It's $28. But I did come out with the Fortified Super Omega-3 Max. And that is 50% more potent. It has uh, uh, 1,200 EPA and 900 DHA. 2,400 milligrams of fish oil. Uh, versus the 1,800 milligrams of fish oil that is in the Fortify Super Omega. Now, there is a little discrepancy on the label. Somebody messed up. I, I have to say it's me because it's my company, but it wasn't me. It was somebody else. Uh, the Fortify Super Omega has 1,800 milligrams of triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil in it, not 1,600. So we bumped it up 200. It still says 1,600 on it. The EPA and the DHA is correct on the label. It just has 200 more milligrams of fish oil than is stated on the bottle. So the next bottle will have the correct label. All right, we're getting ready to go to the phones. Uh, let me give you a website you can go to learn more a little bit about me, and that's drmichaellang.com, simply drmichaellang.com or langeyecure.com or langeyeinstitute.com. And one of our major websites, uh, and certainly a sponsor of this radio show, is Fortify Vitamins, and that's Fortify. Com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, Fortify.com. Anything I talk about in this program, uh, you can get through Fortify Vitamins. If you buy $150 worth of product, you get 20% off and free shipping. There is a, uh, at the top of the website, it actually has a banner that streams that, that tells you that. And then the Langai Institute is in the villages, and the phone number for the Langai Institute, if you'd like to set up an appointment to see me or any of my doctors, 
uh, for an eye exam or if you're interested in cataract surgery, you have a retinal problem, or you want a nutritional approach for your macular degeneration, glaucoma, and dry eyes, you can call 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. All right, I think we're going to the phones. Let's see. Let's go see Joe in Fort White. Good morning. Thanks for holding. Good, good. That's good to hear that we're live. About time it's working. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've been to see you down there uh, in, in the villages. I've been to my retinologist about some, uh, some mild partial detachment. Right. Okay, now you said a partial retinal detachment? Yeah. Hmm. Did, did you have any surgery on that eye? No, uh, it was just, I, I, I use that term retinal detachment uh, because the pictures, uh, the, the x ray that showed, uh, showed some partial detachment, but it, it you know, it, it's pretty much just one of those things that you look at to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Hmm. All right, so it, maybe it's a retinoschisis, or maybe it's a vitriol detachment. Do you know if they said that? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, my retinologist, again, was in November, so we'll find out now. Okay, okay, yeah, because usually if it's a retinal tear or retinal detachment, they're going to have to do some sort of treatment. Uh, but if it's a retinoschisis, that's a separation of the retina. It's something they usually just monitor. It's not a, really a retinal detachment, not a retinal tear. And sometimes it could be what we call a posterior vitreal detachment. That just means the gel in the eye has thinned out and actually causes some pulling where the gel has pulled loose from the back of the retina and you get a big floater, but it's not anything to do with a retinal detachment. Sometimes it might be confusing. And that's a normal benign entity that they just monitor. Right. Good, good. And remember, any sudden onset of flashing lights or thousands of floaters, you get in to see your eye doctor immediately. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll that. Thank you. All right. Hey, thanks for the call. Bye, Joe. Um, yeah, we're getting some feedback. I think I might try hooking up one of these uh, headphones instead. All right. Um, Phone lines are open, 727-587-1040. That's 727-587-1040. God, I was here with the engineer yesterday. We were working on uh, trying to fix this feedback on the speaker so all of you on social media could hear the question. And uh, I don't know. It's one of those ongoing things, I guess. All right, so uh, a lot of you last, uh, last week, well, before we go into this, we're going to talk more about the omega-3. If there's only one supplement that you would take, all right, if it was only one, it would have to be omega-3, okay? Fortify Super Omega or Fortify Super Omega-3 Max. Um, it's got to be in triglyceride form. A lot of you are buying omega-3 from over the counter, and, and I'm not going to mention any names, but 95% of all of them should go in the garbage can. It's as simple as that. Next to the krill oil, okay? Uh, you got to read the labels. You need... I mean, you need about 2,000 milligrams, anywhere from 1,800 to 2,500 milligrams of omega-3. It needs to be in the triglyceride molecule. If it doesn't say triglyceride form, a TG form on the bottle, then it's an ethyl ester molecule. It's got ethanol in it. That's a very inefficient step. It has to go through your liver and cleave off the ethanol, replace the triglyceride backbone so it can absorb. That's very inefficient. Who knows long-term what it does to your liver? And it's a very unstable molecule, so it goes rancid very quickly. So there's only a couple of brands you can buy over the counter, and they're very expensive, close to $50 a bottle. So Fortify Super Omega is 28. Fortify Super Omega Max, which is 50% more potent, is only 35. So it's 20% more, uh, not 50% more. And if you use 
online 20% as a code at checkout on the promo code section. Online 20%, you get 20% off on anything. And remember, if you buy $150 worth, you get 20% off, and then you actually also get free shipping, because shipping can be pretty expensive depending on your order. All right, we're getting ready to go to the phones. Let's see if I can retrieve this next caller. Dave, thanks for holding. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? All right. How are you doing, Dave? I'm good, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. And listen, right. I have a, I have a right question right. for you. I have a, uh, well, my, my doctor in South Florida is talking about the fat tissue. Uh-huh. It's kind of right. slipping between my eyelids and my eyeball on both sides. It's becoming pretty pronounced. Uh, looks like a big ball of, uh, of uh, off-white color, kind of another eyeball. Right. Do you, do you uh, recommend that I uh, have that removed, or uh, is that something I can just live with as, as is? That's a great question. You know, Dave, it depends. There's no saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? If it's not really causing a problem, right, it's not causing pain, it's not causing impaired vision, and the doctor realizes it's not something serious like a cancer, then you may not want to touch it. It sounds to me like you either have a pinguecula or a pterygium. Those are two big words. A pinguecula is a fatty deposit on your conjunctiva, the superficial outer layer of your eye, and it looks kind of yellowish and a little vascularized. A pterygium is when it grows onto your cornea, and then it can start to impair your vision. A pterygium, in worst case scenario, has to be removed. A pinguecula can just keep an eye on. Now, these things get aggravated by the wind and having dry eye, the ultraviolet light. So simply by wearing a pair of sunglasses, okay, and using some good lubricants in your eyes that have anti-inflammatory properties inherent in them, and there's only two, okay, and you want, you want to write these down. Now certainly your optometrist or ophthalmologist can prescribe sometimes a steroid to help lessen the, uh, the size of it and the severity of it but I don't like to use steroids long term. But there's two drops you can buy. You can get it at the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages. You can go to fortify.com and get it. You can't get them, well, sometimes you can get them over the counter, but they're a lot more expensive. And that's either Oasis Tears Plus. You've heard me talk about that on this program. It has hyaluronic acid in it, a natural anti-inflammatory. And then a, a little bit newer one is called Fresh Coat. Fresh Coat's about $5 more expensive. Um, and Fresh Coat actually replenishes all three layers of the tear film, and it also has some anti-inflammatory properties, and both of these work amazingly well for that condition that you have, and also helps dry eyes. Now, without seeing you, I can't definitively tell you that's what's going on, but this is for educational purposes only. Remember, this does not replace seeing your eye doctor. Yeah, yeah, oftentimes it does reduce the size. If you're not using that right now, it can reduce the size. Not dramatically, and it's not instant. You see, this is a chronic problem that's uh, just related to age, the wind, the ultraviolet light, and dry eyes. So if you're wearing your sunglasses and using the lubricant, that's going to reduce the friction. Remember, you blink uh, 20,000 times a day, some people more, some people less. Your eyes at all dry, it's aggravating that condition dramatically. So... Yeah, it can reduce it, and mostly it'll stabilize it. Okay. And surgery uh, typical, or is it uh, an easy procedure if I had decided to have it removed? Yeah, if it's a pterygium, it's a, it's a fairly simple procedure. Uh, an ophthalmologist can do, a uh, corneal specialist or an oculoplastic specialist, even a general ophthalmologist uh, can remove the pterygiums. Pinguaculas, you usually don't remove those. They, you only remove them if they're growing onto your cornea and starting to impair your vision, they get into your line of sight. Otherwise, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. All right, I'm wondering if people can hear the callers. So uh, you guys chime in on the social media right now. Let me know if uh, you can hear the callers, okay? Um, because it turned down. we got to turn it down so we don't get any feedback. Maybe JC, I see Gina Cephalou in Louisiana. A baton Rouge is, uh, maybe she's looking, oh, she's no, in New Orleans. Tell me if you can hear me, hear the calls on social media. All right, 727-587-1040. Let's go back to the phones. Richard in Tampa Bay, good morning. Uh, 
All right, so uh, the question was, do we have a regimen of vitamins to help diabetic retinopathy? All right. So uh, yes and no. <laughs> um, first off and foremost, as you know, with diabetes, uh, you got to really watch your diet. You got to be very careful controlling your blood sugar. You want your fasting blood sugar in the morning to be as close to 100 as possible. And by doing eating vegetables and protein for supper, vegetables and protein for breakfast, you can obtain that goal oftentimes. And if you do that, sometimes you can be over-medicated and you got to be ready to eat a little sugar, a glucose tablet, if your blood sugar drops too much. But controlling blood sugar is crucial because if your blood sugar is fluctuating, if it's elevated and it's going up and down, bouncing all around, you can have what we call leaky microaneurysms in your retina. And so that's diabetic retinopathy. Now, there are some supplements that can help reduce inflammation in the retina from diabetic retinopathy, can help strengthen these little blood vessels uh, so they don't burst, and actually have some anti-VEGF activity. That means anti-vascular endothelial growth factor, similar to the injections that people are using for diabetic maculopathy. And so what I usually recommend is everybody on a good omega-3 fish oil, all right? And then there's a product we developed called Fortify Focus. It's lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. All three of those combined have some benefits for the retina, helping to strengthen the retina, give the nutrients the retina needs to help thwart off some of the negative side effects of diabetes, okay? Um, there's some other things that can help from a supplement standpoint. Cinnamon, chromium picolinate, alpha lipoic acid, um, uh, these things can also help. And so many of my diabetics, we actually have on uh, our Fortify Focus, our Fortify Super Omega, and one to two pills of the Fortify Complete Advanced Nutrition. That enables you to make sure you're not nutrient compromised in any area. It feeds the retina in every cell in your body. So in a perfect world, if money isn't mu as much of an object as it is in some people, you, I would recommend certainly a specific diet that's in tune for diabetics, an exercise program, taking your medications, Fortify uh, Complete Advanced Nutrition, Fortify Focus, and Fortify Super Omega. Those three supplements. Um, and then just depending on your weight, all right, one of the biggest things is a lot of diabetics are overweight. Now, there are some diabetics that are skinny. And, but if you're overweight, you got to get down to your ideal fighting weight. I'm, if there, anybody's watching on social media right now, I'm holding up a, a thing that caused, it's called the Lang Diet Plan. The Lang Diet Plan helps you lose weight and helps blood sugar normalize, but you got to be very careful. If you're your typical diabetic and taking the diabetic medication, when you start a diet, you have to be careful not to be over-medicated. Because remember, if your blood sugar drops to 50, you pass out and you can die. So all diabetics need to have those glucose waivers, wafers or some apple juice or a Snickers bar in their pocket at all times just in case their blood sugar ever drops too low. Remember, if your blood sugar is 200 or 300, you may be totally asymptomatic and not be aware of it and feel fine. But if it drops to 50 or 60, uh, you feel really pretty wacky. And if you're driving your car and you pass out, it might not be a pleasant situation. Still there? All right, so hopefully you got something from that, and uh, I think we're going to go to the next caller. I'm going to try to rearrange this uh, so we can hear the callers. But you still there, Richard? Oh, we just dropped them. Okay. Um, you're listening to Ask the Doctor, 727-587-1040, and I think we may be going to a break here in just a second because that way I can fix uh, this audio that we're having a little bit of an issue with with all the feedback. So I think there's a few people on hold. Please hold through the break, and then we'll uh, come back and be able to take those phone calls. So I know Mary and, and Jack hold on, and I'll be back in about three minutes. You need to get right to the at least the headphones plugged in. And what's the problem with all this stuff? I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, where we used to put the headphones there and turn them up, because that's getting too much feedback. And nobody can hear it when we turn it down low. Need that Franz to come. Need that Franz come down here.
Yeah, but they're not getting it. They can hear that. Can they? Everybody's out there. Hey, Larry. You guys can hear this, can't you? Can you hear it at all from here? Yeah, I can hear it, but it's not. Um, that's why we, we should have just pulled that in here. But if you turn that down, I can pick it up on the speakers. Turn it down a little bit? Well, whatever you had a minute ago, I can hear it good on these. That commercial came in through loud and clear. Everybody can hear us right now. Huh? Everybody can hear us right now on Facebook. Oh, I know. Facebook's live. <laughs> I'll be back in 10 seconds, okay? All right. 9, 8, 7. Okay, good morning. Welcome back to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang, and we're back from a break. If you got a question, give me a call at 727-587-1040. All right, we're going to go to the next caller. Let's see. Joe, thanks for holding. Good morning. Joe? Hello, Joe. No. Joe, testing. No, nope, we lost Joe and Mary. All right, Mary, Joe, try to call back. I will take the call, I promise. I think we got everything worked out here. So phone lines are open, 727-587-1040. That is 727-587-1040. You're listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael P. Lang of the Lang Eye Institute of Fortified Vitamins. All right, so we were talking a little bit about omega-3. Remember, if you want to check your omega-3 to see if it's any good or not, Bite the end of it off, snip the end of it off, squeeze in a styrofoam coffee cup and see what happens, okay? Uh, that styrofoam coffee cup will rot a hole right through it in about 10 minutes. That means it's got ethanol in it, and a lot of you chemists out there say, no, that's not going to hurt you. Well, that makes it not absorb, so you're getting a useless amount of omega-3. We've done omega index studies at the Lang Eye Institute, and people that are taking these really doesn't affect their omega index at all. I mean, literally, you got to take 25 of those pills to move your omega index. That's the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 in your blood. If you take two Fortify Super Omegas, your omega index gets to a normal level. And 95% of the patients that we tested, the 5% were people over 250 pounds. That's why I came out with the Omega Max, Fortify Super Omega Max, for people that are overweight, for extreme athletes, for people that need more nutrition or they only want to take one pill a day. Uh, you can take the omega-3 max. All right, now we're going back to the phones. Let's see. Joe, I think we got you back. Thanks for holding. All right. Um, hey, Joe, what can I do for you? Right. Yeah, so it says 500 milligrams of uh, magnesium chelate. How much do you weigh? Yeah, yeah, you probably, uh, are you very athletic? Are you out uh, doing a lot? Are you sweating a lot? 
Yeah, you probably just want to take two a day. Yeah, yeah, so that's only, it sounds like that's only 100 milligrams active. I would just take two a day. Uh, what's it say on the on the label? Does it just say take one a day? Right. Right, I mean, just, just not without knowing you at 180 pounds and fairly active, I would take two of those a day and, and not any more than that. Now, remember, if you take too much uh, magnesium, you're going to get loose stools, you're going to have diarrhea. Then you know you're overdoing it. Oh, you're talking about the dogs? It's very staticky on my headphones now. I think we're having a bad connection again. You said your animals are in the back of the pickup truck? Yeah, I, th I think they're fine. Dogs' eyes are pretty uh, pretty resilient, believe it or not. The coating on their cornea is pretty resilient versus humans. Uh, they will dry out a little bit, but, you know, the cab is blocking a lot of that, and, and they probably love it back there. So, yeah, I I'd keep them back there. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it, and you have a good weekend. All right, you too. Bye-bye. You're not lying. All right. Uh, You're not lying either. Interesting. What's that? You're not lying. All right. Um... Next phone call. Let's see. I think it's going to be Mary at Dunedin. Uh, let's see. Mary, thanks for holding. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Eric. I'm um, a um, certified diabetes educator. I'm retired. I work after school, and I run into so many issues. Okay. Um, let me return the no. Yeah, um, I, you know, many of these blood thinners, you've got to be very careful, especially if you're on, uh, you know, warfarin, acuminin, um, heparin. These things interfere with the prothrombin time. And so a lot of these, uh, like, like you said, ginger and turmeric and curcumin, uh, they may interfere and thin the blood out a little bit too much. Now, omega-3 does not do that, okay, contrary to what people think. Uh, omega-3 is very safe, so it's interesting. It always gets me when the cardiologist tells the patient, you know, they have AFib and they're on Coumadin and don't take fish oil, but yet do they say not to eat fish? No. So you have to take so much fish oil to thin the blood out. I mean, you're going to take almost 10 grams, and that's a lot of fish oil uh, to start thinning it. And the other thing is this. You can get the benefits of these. I mean, we're more concerned about something that's going to thicken the blood too much. So vitamin K, spinach, kale, things like that. So, but you can, if you do the same amount on a daily basis, then your doctor can regulate it. So you can say, look, doc, I want to eat one cup of cooked spinach every day. And I want to keep taking my vitamins that I'm taking. Then they can regulate it so everything is perfect. It's those people that actually go and eat a bushel of kale, you know, once a week that they get into big troubles or a lot of spinach only once a week. So if you do everything the same, um, then they can regulate uh, the blood thinning properties of these medications. Yeah, it really shouldn't. It, that should not interfere with met, metformin. Now, in all of the Fortify vitamins, I purposely do not have a lot of extra amounts of ginger or curcumin, or curcumin or turmeric or ginkgo biloba, things that really thin the blood out so that we never have this problem. 
Um, and that's why it's always important to see someone that is in tune with nutrition, you know, a physician that's in tune with nutrition that understands these things because you can get the benefits of both traditional medicine and natural medicine or complementary medicine. Um, I mean, I think that's the best of both worlds. You know, uh, we do need medication. I mean, heck, we, medication is a godsend for many patients. I'm a big advocate, especially for diabetics, the least amount of medication that gets the job done. And you know, as, as a diabetic educator, you're well aware that, you know, diet and weight control are crucial. A, a large percentage of our diabetics um, wouldn't be on diabetic medication if they would follow the appropriate diet exercise protocol, the right supplements, and, ma and maintain a right weight. But, you know, it's hard to do. A lot of people want to have that Rocky Road ice cream at bedtime and want to have the waffles with syrup for breakfast. So it's difficult. Well, apple cider vinegar uh, is mainly enzymes, okay? And so they really shouldn't be having, uh, you know, much blood thinning properties at all. Uh, that's usually for digestive health. And, and, you know, start in the morning with apple cider vinegar is a good way to go. Uh, and it's due to the enzymatic activity and the acid that's in there. It helps uh, with digestion first thing in the morning. Oh, my pleasure, and I appreciate the call. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, maybe you can hear the callers now. I think we got uh, the feedback. This is kind of a learning episode, episode today. So you're listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, uh, Dr. Michael Lang. And you can't see Scoobs, but he's like my Ed McMahon. He's sitting over in the other corner there, uh, taping us. 727-587-1040, 727-587-1040. We're getting ready to go to the next call, uh, but I just want to do a shout out at Indian Rocks uh, Christian School right now. Uh, there's a big volleyball tournament. I'll be heading over there right now. Skycrest is winning it. Uh, this is a middle school volleyball tournament, and of course, my McKenzie is uh, on that team, and she plays volleyball all over the country. Uh, I was there last night. They won... Uh, uh, it was a blowout against Trinity. So they're playing a lot of different teams today. So a shout out to McKenzie and her team at Skycrest. Uh, what a volleyball team this year. Undefeated. All right, let's go back to the phones. Betty and Archer, thanks for holding. Okay, that's a great question. And so corneal scarring can be related to many different things. And without seeing, it's hard to say. It can be simply as simple as dry eye. It can be a corneal dystrophy, something called epithelial basement membrane dystrophy. It can be fuchs endothelial cell dystrophy. There can be a host of things that cause corneal scarring. And I got to tell you, yes, we can do some things uh, that are natural and some pretty mainstream cutting edge technology that can reduce scarring and sometimes dramatically. Number one, we got to get the anterior sur surface disease under control. That means dry eye. All women over 40 have dry eye. And the older you get, the more mature you get, the drier eyes get. So once again, there's two drops I recommend earlier that are very good. It's kind of like the Bentley or Rolls Royce or Ferrari or Lamborghini. And that's Oasis Tears Plus or Fresh Coat, okay? 
And both of these replenish the lubricating properties in your eye and have some anti-inflammatory properties also that work. It works really quite well. And with that, you got to use it frequently. I mean, you got to use these drops a minimum of four times a day. That's going to reduce the friction, get rid of what we call superficial punctate keratitis, which if it doesn't go away, you'll get further scarring as you mature. Also, drinking more water. We talk about this on the show. I'm holding up something called Wata. This is a water I recommend now. It's the only polarized, positive charge water in the world. W-A-T-T-A-H-H. -A -H -H. Wata hydrates you three times more readily than regular water. It's pretty interesting. So those of you who aren't drinking enough water and aren't going to drink 10 glasses of water a day, then you can drink two to three of the Wata. I usually say drink one liter. This is what I drink a day, one liter. And then other water I'll drink in between. So make sure you drink more water, use a good lubricant like Fresh Coat and Oasis Tears, a little lid hygiene, cleaning your eyelashes and putting a little hot compress. So hot compresses on your eye will open up the glands, help. And then lastly, the scarring sometimes can be reduced by your optometrist or ophthalmologist without surgery by using an amniotic membrane, a stem cell enhanced amniotic membrane <laughs> Two come to mind, one's called Procara, one's called VisiDisc. Both of those can be done by your local eye doctor. We do them a lot at the Lang Eye Institute. And I've seen some miracles on patients where it has rejuvenated the cornea, gotten rid of their dryness, and reduced the scar tissue dramatically. And then if you've tried all these things and you truly have scars that are causing a problem, then I could always refer you to a world-renowned corneal specialist that has invented a technique called corneal plastique. And that's where he will actually remove corneal scars uh, using special lasers and getting some amazing results. So if there's the will, there's the way, okay? Right. Now, did you mention Fresh Coat? Is Fresh Coat an eye drop? Yes, Fresh Coat is an eye drop. Uh, you can buy over the counter sometimes. It's hard to find. It used to be prescription. And I've seen it sometimes over the counter for as much as $45, $50. On our website at fortify.com, I think it's $29. And we mark it up a couple of dollars to cover our shipping costs and make it convenient for the consumer. So you can buy that on our website at fortify.com. And you can try checking it out at a local Walgreens or CVS. But I guarantee it's going to be higher than $29. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. That's that's kind of that's an over the counter. It's kind of like over the counter vitamins and fish oil. I don't think much about them. You know, it's just a very average lubricant. That if you're buying the preservative free version, that's definitely better. But most sustain are just come in a bottle and they got preservatives in it. And too many preservatives in your eye aren't good. So if you are going to buy that brand, buy the preservative free, the individual vials. Okay. Um, that, that, that's for anybody buying any artificial tears over the counter um, by the individual vials. Fresh Coat is the only one I know of you can buy over the counter that's in a dropper bottle that's preservative free. It has, has a unique patented plunger system so they don't have to put preservatives in it. Do you have a website or an email that I could uh, follow up with you website. because I have a pen and pen, a pen and paper here but I'm not uh, I don't want to hold you up because yeah. I don't have time where I can't write down everything and I'll forget it. <laughs> right, just go to our website, fortify.com, and there's a section, Ask the Doctor, on there. But you can see all the things on there. It has all the research and all the studies next to each item. Uh, so it's fortify.com. Remember, I'm an eye doctor, so it's kind of a play on words. F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E. -E. So fortif, and then I like your eyeball, fortify. F M E Y E. E Y E dot com? Yes, ma'am. And that's your website. That's my website. There's a section Ask the Doctor on there. But you can do a lot of research on there on that website. You can go through it and look at all the supplements with all the research and clinical studies. And you can look at the dry eye packs that we have and the artificial tears. And then you can sit back in your own home and just make an educated decision on what you want to do. Before that, there is any hope or any 
uh, any anything like um, anything healing or, or the kind of treatment that I could do for corneal scarring. I have not been in, uh, informed of that before. Right. So you know, like I said, there's a, if there's a will, there's a way, and so. I mean, and then there's, I mean, certainly there's corneal transplants, but we don't recommend those unless it's the last option, okay? Yeah, I, I don't either. <laughs> right. Uh, all right, well, I certainly thank you for all of the information you just provided for me. All right, Betty, you take good care and have a great time uh, over there in Archer. Thank you. Well, I, I'm near Gainesville. I've met you before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, your, your voice sounds very familiar. Voices and faces. I, I forget names, but uh, maybe one day again we'll hook up. All right. All right, Betty. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, you're listening to Ask the Doctor. I've, I've seen a lot of patients over, you know, remember, I used to have offices in Gainesville, Ocala, Tampa, Clearwater, Inverness, Citrus Hills, University of Florida, uh, three or four in Ocala. Uh, until I sold out, but I kept the Lang Eye Institute. Anybody can see me at the Lang Eye Institute. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump from wherever you are. Uh, we're in the dead center of <laughs> Golf Cart Central, geriatric mecca of the world, fastest growing population in the entire country right now. The Villages, that's Disney World for retirees. We're right there on the corner of County Road 101 and 466, next door to CVS across the street from Publix. Lang Eye Institute is a, looks like a large plantation. I grew up in New Orleans and always loved uh, the plantations on the Mississippi River. And so that's why I built the Lang Eye Institute to look like a plantation uh, a few years back. I, I got to tell you, the radio show is what enabled me to have the Lang Eye Institute because all of you know, the Morris family owned all the property in the villages. Well, this is about 15, 20 years ago. I was on a radio show called WRZN out of Inverness. Uh, or out of Hernando County, and it was about 4.30 in the afternoon, and I said, you know, maybe it's time that I look for an office in the villages, but the Morris family owns everything. And so one of the callers was a farmer. He called up and says, nope, Dr. Lang, I got some property, and if you want to buy it, uh, you can. And sure enough, I went out there, met him that evening, and he had it all roped off in the middle of a field, three acres. In the middle of the field, there was no roads anywhere, and it was a lot of money. And I thought about it, and I ended up buying it, and I started thinking, boy, I really got suckered. I got totally ripped off, and I was really pissed that I bought it. And then two weeks later, uh, the villages uh, signed a land lease, like, I don't know, 99-year land lease with uh, CVS next door to me and Publix across the street. And they ended up putting a major intersection right there on my property. I mean, I was in the right place at the right time. So uh, the good Lord does watch after me every now and then. All right, phone lines are open, 727-587-1040. That's 727-587-1040. If some of you are having difficulty losing weight, all right, there's a lot of diets out there, and a lot of these diets may help you lose weight rapidly, but can be very dangerous. You've got to be very careful, all right? Uh, a Mediterranean diet is very safe. A paleo diet is very safe. But if you go on to some of these keto diets and some of these low-carb diets and Atkins diets, I mean, where you're eating a lot of saturated fat and you're not having any carbohydrates, number one, if you're not getting the vitamins and minerals, you can become nutrient compromised and that can cause health issues. But number two, a certain portion of you people out there are hypoglycemic. I'm one of those. I'm just the opposite of a diabetic. If I go on a keto diet or low-carb diet, I'll be over, it's just like you're an over-medicated diabetic. My blood sugar will drop, I could be driving the car, I could pass out. So you gotta be very careful. Um, carbs are not as bad for you as people make them out to be. Now, these man-made carbs are the things you gotta avoid. So the pastas, the rices, uh, the breads, things like that, a lot of these are genetically modified. If you gotta eat them, make sure they're organic. But carbohydrates from vegetables and carbohydrates from fruits I mean, those are good for you. And so I created a diet, and I thought about this for years and years and years, uh, putting it together. It's kind of the best of all the diets. I mean, it's a combination of paleo, Mediterranean, low-carb, keto diet, all in one, because we use coconut oils and things like that in it. And it's called the Lang Diet Plan. You can simply Google it, the Lang Diet Plan. I guarantee if you follow this diet, you will lose a minimum of four pounds a week. Many people lose six pounds a week or more.
But it's called a diet plan, not just a diet. When you flip it over, it also says you need 20 minutes of cardiovascular exercise five times a week. Drink half your body weight in ounces of good water. 20 minutes of sunshine between 12 and 2, five days a week. Six to eight hours of sleep a day. Um, so it's a diet plan, not just a diet. And it, it gives you the exact foods to eat, what time to eat them, what time to take your snack. And it does work. And you don't go into ketosis. You don't have, you know, low energy. You have plenty of energy. And they have some probiotic foods in there, some permanent foods. So that helps you lose weight also because you actually poop out a lot of the substance that's impacted into your intestines. So Google the Lang Diet Plan. You can call our office and we'll send you the Lang Diet Plan. It's on the internet uh, at uh, fortify.com or just Google it, Lang Diet Plan. All right. Um, in the Lang Diet Plan, there's a few supplements in there as well. If you just follow the diet plan, you're going to lose weight. The supplements uh, help you lose weight a little quicker, like apple cider vinegar one morning. The next morning, you take the probiotics made by Fortify. You alternate it, all right? The snacks, here's an example. A snack in between breakfast and lunch can be eight ounces of spring water, one half cup of almonds or walnuts, one slice of pineapple, or one half cup of paleo simplified uh, proline crunch. So I give you two options. That's why I developed the proline crunch. And you can get that at Lang Eye Institute, Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can get it on the website. Uh, it's called Paleo Simplified Proline Crunch. And if you just replenish your snacks during the day with the proline crunch made by Paleo Simplified, you believe it or not, you'll lose weight if you don't eat any of the other snacks that you're eating. Most people snack way too much, and that's causing a lot of the health issues that they have. All right, remember, October 26th is the Fall Festival at the Lang Eye Institute. We're expecting a pretty big crowd this year. I've been promoting it for months now. Um, that's 10 to 2 at the Lang Eye Institute. And we're going to have a few thousand people at least that show up. Remember, we're going to have plenty of discounts on Fortify Vitamins. Hopefully, the Fortify Fit will be available. Um, we're going to be making smoothies for you to try our proteins. Our new whey protein isolate, grass-fed isolate, will be available too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Remember, a frame trunk show, a car show. Uh, we're going to have some of my race cars there. Bring your cars out. If you got a cool car, just a Mustang or anything cool, just bring it on out. And uh, like I said, we're going to have a lot of fun. That's October 26th this year, 2019. Um, a lot of you are exposed to digital apps on a daily basis, like me right now. I've got two computers in front of me. i got a laptop in front of me. i got an iPad and two cell phones, all directing the blue light toward me. But I do take two Fortify Focus a day, and so I'm protecting my retina. I do a retina scan on my eye a couple of times a year to make sure the macula is staying healthy. I do macula pigment density checking, uh, dark adaptation checking, and, and my retina is extremely healthy. I see very good without glasses. And so, remember, the computer and the digital iPad, the uh, iPhone, or smart tablets, smartphones, televisions, LED lights, fluorescent lights, all have a lot of problems inherent with them from the blue light. So we do make a lens called Blue Light Defense or Blue Light Shield. Next time you have your glasses made, if you come to the Lang Eye Institute, ask to have the monomer, the lens material, Blue Light Shield or Blue Light Defense. Also, True Blue is a very good lens material as well. So those are three that I recommend. Blue Light Defense, True Blue, uh, Blue Light Shield. But taking Fortify Focus, I'm holding up a brochure in front of you, Fortify Focus has the carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin isomers, that has a little mesozeaxanthin, and that will benefit your retina as well. All right, we're going to the phones. I do want to mention Michael Moore, the hearing specialist at the Lang Eye Institute, is opening an office in Ocala inside the Lang Nutrition Center. So you'll be able to see a hearing specialist on the weekends now in Ocala. And that's Michael Moore, Hear More Medical Centers. Let's go back to the phones. Rose in Gainesville, thanks for holding. Hello. Um, I used to do your hair many years ago. Absolutely. How are you, Rose? in the eyes, in 
in the in the blood in the bloodstream and everything in the eye. Yeah, you don't want parasites in the eye. I mean, certainly we do see that, and then that has to be those have to be eradicated. Um, How do you eradicate them? That's, that would be my question. Yeah, it depends. I mean, there's powerful drugs that you have to take usually. All right to kill these. Um, sometimes there's parasites that actually have to be surgically removed in the eye. This was a long time ago. There was actually, uh, we don't, I don't even know what it was, I don't recall, but there was like a white worm in the vitreous of a patient. The patient had just been down in, in Haiti doing some work for, for, I don't know, like a month. And I had sent this patient over to Bob Mames, the retina specialist at the retina center. and He surgically removed this worm out of the eye. Now remember, parasites are okay if they're in the gut. You know, in the fecal, in the gut, there's there's many parasites that are in our body, but and in the blood, there's going to be some, but you yeah, you definitely don't want it in the eye, and we don't see that very often in the eye. Thank goodness. Thank you. All right, Rose, where where are you cutting hair these days? Well, uh, across the street from uh, over at Coco Salon. In Ocala. Uh, I'm also yeah in Ocala. Mm -hmm. And yeah, is I Bob is Bob the nearby the these days? He, he does a few people, but he's, he's not. He's more retired now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, will you tell the gang hello? I have to come visit you. I'm not in Ocala that often anymore, but uh, one day we'll have to hook up again. Yeah. All right, okay. Rose. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. I think we're getting close to the countdown. we probably got about a minute left. I want to thank everybody for tuning in on social media as well as on Ask the Doctor on the radio show. Remember, if you're not happy with the eye care that you're getting, certainly get a second opinion. we got a lot of great optometrists and ophthalmologists throughout the area. Uh, certainly come to the Lang Eye Institute as well. All right, music's on. That means i got to roll. Got to go watch some volleyball and then maybe go on a long bike ride. Get some vitamin D today. So I'm out of here. Have a great day. God bless you. That's a wrap. Wata Water. Lang Eye Institute sells this. And you can get it now at uh, the Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala or Fortify.com where you ship it all over the country. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We still got to work on uh, getting the calls. Bye bye. All right, let me turn that. Facebook off first, then we'll turn Instagram on, we'll share, and now we're going to turn Instagram on, what if I Instagram, mm -hmm. absolutely, what about two maxes, yep, two maxes, say hello everybody, Scoob's my Ed McMahon, look at him hiding over there, stay up, come on, I'll have to charge you, you look skinny in that shirt. Of course I do. <laughs> Bye, guys.